I'm Dr. Greg Ellis, here to talk about the importance of dietary fiber, or lack thereof. This is an argument that goes on and on and on. The marketers, everyone, talks about the importance of dietary fiber, particularly the management of non-insulin dependent diabetes. Now, the idea is that the dietary fiber will slow the release of the digested carbohydrates, thereby slowing the release of glucose from the intestinal tract, which is blood sugar, and thereby resisting an increase in glucose in the blood and its associated relationship with insulin. And then additionally, th these factors would argue to say that this will reduce the normal increase in blood triglycerides that occur when consuming a high carbohydrate diet. These ideas have been around for a long time and people still continue to promote the idea despite the fact that we've known for 30 years that there is simply no truth to the idea that fiber will slow the release of glucose from the intestinal tract. And then of course the other important point is What's the difference whether the glucose in the blood rises to 30 milligrams per deciliter versus 60 milligrams? Is there any significance to that? And of course this whole idea has been drummed up as there are important differences in the spike that occurs in response to glucose and glucose digestion. Well, there's simply no truth to that either because at a certain threshold point, all factors of dietary and metabolic control of fat burning are shut down. It doesn't matter whether the sugar is a little bit high or a lot high. It just simply does not matter, nor does it matter about the insulin either. So the first and important point is that fiber will not slow the release of glucose in the intestinal tract. It has no benefit whatsoever in helping a non-insulin dependent diabetic control his or her blood sugar and reduce the problems associated with that lack of control. And this is important to understand, regardless of what's said out there. And it's said all the time. It's constantly said. It's repeated over and over in the news media, in magazine articles, the importance of dietary fiber to our health and to helping us control our sugar levels. The, the point is also, the most important point, is that we really should be trying to minimize our exposure to glucose because it is such a nasty substance and creates all kinds of health-related problems. But that won't stop people from doing it. So when you hear about the importance of fiber, remember that I told you that it's not important. And there's no need to, to worry about it. In this particular study, they fed 11 grams of fiber per thousand calories to a group of people and then in another group they ran it up to 27 grams of fiber. And that's all within the range of what humans can tolerate and what they're willing to do and how they're willing to eat. Nothing impractical there. It wasn't like they fed them 60 grams of fiber a day and argued that would make a difference. You have to feed people what they might actually eat in real life to get a sense on, on how practical the advice would be. But of course, even the higher levels of fiber make no difference either. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.